In the second part of the video, we look at changes in pressure. The pressure of a system can be changed by either adding or removing a reactant or product, or changing the volume of the reaction vessel. The first point has the effect of increasing the concentration of the reactants or products. The second point refers to Boyle's law. Boyle's law states that pressure and volume are inversely proportional, at constant temperature. This can be written in equation form as P times V equals constant K. Changes in volume will affect the pressure of the reaction vessel. For example, if the volume of the reaction vessel is increased, the pressure will decrease. And if the volume of the reaction vessel is decreased, pressure will increase. It should be noted that changes in pressure only have an effect on the equilibrium position when there are different amounts of gaseous molecules in the reactants and products. So next we look at some examples. The reaction we'll look at is the Haber process, in which nitrogen and hydrogen react together to form ammonia. In this equation we have 4 moles of gas on the reactant side and 2 moles of gas on the product side. This means on the reactant side we have more gaseous molecules and on the product side we have fewer gaseous molecules. When the position of equilibrium shifts to the side with a fewer number of gaseous molecules, this results in a decrease in pressure. And when the position of equilibrium shifts towards the side with a greater number of gaseous molecules, this results in an increase in pressure. So when we make predictions about in which direction the position of equilibrium will shift for changes in pressure, we need to consider the number of gaseous molecules in the reactants and products. So in the next example, we will predict in which direction the equilibrium position will shift when the pressure is increased. An increase in pressure shifts the equilibrium position to the right, which is the product side. So the equilibrium position will shift to the right because there are fewer gaseous molecules on the product side, which lowers the pressure. As we saw earlier, there are fewer gaseous molecules on the product side of the equation. When the pressure is increased, the equilibrium position shifts to the side with the fewer gaseous molecules, which has the effect of lowering the pressure of the system. Just like for changes in concentration, changes in pressure do not affect the value of the equilibrium constant Kc. In our next example, we will predict in which direction the equilibrium position will shift when the pressure is decreased. When the pressure is decreased, the equilibrium position shifts to the left, which is the reactant side. So the equilibrium position will shift to the left because there are more gaseous molecules on the reactant side, which increases the pressure. Because we have more gaseous molecules on the reactant side, an increase in pressure will shift the equilibrium to the left. And once again, the value of the Kc does not change. In our last example, we look at changes in pressure when there are the same number of gaseous molecules in the reactants and products. So in this reaction, we have 2 moles of gas on the reactant side and 2 moles of gas on the product side. So the position of equilibrium will not change because there are the same number of gaseous molecules on both sides of the equation. So if we have equal numbers of gaseous molecules in the reactants and products, changes in pressure have no effect on the position of equilibrium. So let's end with a summary. In this table we have change to the system at equilibrium, change in equilibrium position and change in the value of the Kc. When the pressure is increased, the equilibrium position shifts to the side with fewer gaseous molecules. When the pressure is decreased, the equilibrium position shifts to the side with more gaseous molecules and changes in pressure when there's equal numbers of gaseous molecules in the reactants and products has no effect on the equilibrium position. And as we can see, the value of the Kc does not change when changes are made to the pressure of the system.